Yes! The problem with Jelly Ear Fungus is often our customers at the pub don't really like its rubbery, distinctively gelatinous texture. Yeah, like you just get a bit of wobble going on on that big one on the left. Oh, yeah, that is the gelatinous texture that I'm talking about. Ew, yeah, oh, so rubbery. Hmm, what do you think? Well, it's mushroomy, <laughs> chewy. I'm not feeling my best today. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a big night out last night, and I'm feeling a little bit delicate. <sighs> that kind of rubbery texture is much more prized in Asian cooking. There's a dish called wood ear fungus or cloud ear fungus that you often get in Chinese takeaways that uses a mushroom very similar to the jelly ear. So we're taking some influence from Asian cooking. Is that all right? Very thinly slicing the pigeon first. So normally when we cook pigeon at the pub, we have to keep it very rare because that stops it getting tough. But George was talking about a velveting chicken. And so that's a, a technique where you slice the chicken very thinly and you fry it very hot coated in cornstarch and various things. So it gives it a sort of a chewy, pleasant texture that isn't like tough meat, but it does have that kind of bite that is valued in Asian meat much more than it is in European cooking. This is hedge garlic, jack by the hedge. And the roots are edible and it kind of reminds me of muli, that Japanese radish. So I thought we'd just take some sections like this so that we've got some nice crunchy radishy bits to stir fry as well as the meat and the mushrooms. Let's put those ingredients in the pan. Let's start with that velveted pigeon. That's that. Right. Hedge garlic root, in it goes. Hedge garlic. Magical stirring stick once again. It actually smells delicious. So for our wild dashi, uh, we've got some seaweed that we've got from Duncan. Uh, we've salted some sardines, and we've got some dried mushrooms and some jelly and mushrooms that we're out looking for today. <laughs> right, and then in goes, so the dashi stock, we actually just kept all the ingredients together. We're going to just chuck that in, so that's mushroom, seaweed, salted sardines. Umami to the max. Umami! Umami. Umami. Further depth, there's our jelly here going in. There's our rubbery mushrooms coming to the fore. Some of the leaves from the hedge garlic. Oh, that looks nice and verdant. Whoa! And we were worried it wasn't going to be hot enough. It completely smoked me out. It's amazing. So there it is. It looks pretty Chinesey to me. Shall I quickly uh, grab a bit of garnish? Sounds amazing. Run! Get the wood sorrel. Okay. Just a little lemony, zesty bit of wood sorrel to sprinkle on the top. There you go. Look at that. 100% wild. Let's get that one over there. Well, shall I go in? Yeah, take a bite. I kind of want to get a bit of everything. I have one of your tents also. Just grab it. That really, really works. Is this a, that really works for the camera or like we no. need to talk about this after we this turn the camera? This needs to be on the menu. This needs to, it's delicious. It's silky. And we've just smashed that together in the woods in half an hour basically. <sighs> Mmm. The jelly is just literally, it's kind of like really smoothed out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that we might have actually found something to do that's like more than, more than edible with jelly here. It, it's, it's, it's refined enough to be served to people that actually pay money. <laughs> oh, give me some of this. I like the greens as well, that works. Yeah, the nice thing is, is that the whole thing is, oh my God, the jelly is so good.